house of the raging bull is roaring into the unknown once more. This time with its most radical design ever. We know very well that the automotive industry will change completely. For the past quarter century, this hallowed mark has been known for supremely exotic, high-performance Italian sports cars. Yeah, I mean, Lamborghini is about making a splash. It's about making a statement. These days, however, making a sexy splash isn't enough. We are exploring a new field, a super SUV. It's a massive exploration and the dawn of an entirely new category, the super SUV. If we don't take the right decision, then it will be extremely easy to destroy the incredible thing that has been done so far. A brave decision that's called the Urus. The world's fastest SUV and the boldest step yet one of the most storied super sports car manufacturers in the world. It rockets from naught to 100 kilometers in just under 3.6 seconds. has a top speed of 305 kph. It is perhaps the most important machine ever built by Lamborghini. The definition of SUV just keeps expanding. The Urus is a way of pushing the limits of performance in an SUV. Pushing the limits is something that the Mark has been doing for a very long time. Welcome to Sant'Agata Bolognese, a small, rural, northern Italian town that few outsiders would visit, except for one very special motor romantic reason. This is the ancestral home of Automobili Lamborghini. Lamborghini is based in Sant'Agata, a small place who would know about it. But when you say Lamborghini, everybody knows. The town might be small, but the fantasies created here are extraordinary. It's not only a factory by something which is producing dreams. Dreams that are extremely rare. The brand has been in business for just over half a century, but it's built less than 47,000 cars in total. Sports cars are fantastic and we love them to death and we don't ever want to see them go away. But what really sells are SUVs. In 2012 at the Beijing Auto Show, the company shocks fans when it introduces the Urus concept. It announced to the world that Lamborghini was going to build an SUV. SUV or super SUV is polarizing. You may have purists that say, oh, this is not the right car. The majority, they say, oh, that's really a good idea. Let's go for it. It's not a secret. SUVs are not everybody's darling. This is for sure. When you work for a sports car manufacturer, to create such a car is one of the biggest challenges that you can have. Once the disbelief dissipates, reality sets in. Lamborghini has set its sights on building the world's first super SUV. If you distill Lamborghini down, it's like, what can we do that's so outrageous that no one would expect it? Well, let's build an SUV with a Lamborghini badge on it. My favorite sentence is the one from Ferruccio Lamborghini. I created this car just for me. It was always a dream, it must remain a dream. So this is for us, the driver creating a new car. Ferruccio is Ferruccio Lamborghini a self-made man who starts an agricultural tractor business in 1948. Lamborghini, Lamborghini was born in Italy. It was Ferruccio's idea. A decade later, Ferruccio is a success. However, financial freedom isn't enough. So he decides to enter a more competitive industry, the automotive industry. The company was born in 1963. 
from a vision of a man. Ferrucci came from building tractors. He wanted to take on Ferrari. That was his big goal, and that's what he did. Ferruccio Lamborghini has been one of the bravest men in the industry because he's never been afraid to push the boundaries, embrace new trends, and uh, make a revolution. Just as Ferruccio pushed the boundaries in the past, the Urus challenges the very core of the company. It's about a lot of question, a lot of new challenge for us. The decision was to really to do the things in a different way, starting from the design of the factory. Since 1963, the mark has always called the Sant'Agata Bolognese factory home. However, to bring the Urus to market, the brand must first build a new facility. There was only agricultural field here, and we start from zero the design of this assembly line. Three years after introducing the Urus concept, the mark breaks ground on the new assembly hall. Constructing it will require 5,600 tons of steel. That's equal to the weight of 32 747s. And another 88,000 square meters of asphalt, which is the equivalent to 15 football pitches. With the new model, the Super SUV, we have doubled the size of the company from 80,000 square meter to 160 square meter in just one year. It takes 360,000 workers from 600 companies just 12 months to transform the company forever. We double the factory with the old uh, facility for the Urus, which is include a new office building, a new warehouse, a new finishing area, the new assembly area and a new paint shop. It's a level of expansion that Ferruccio could never have imagined. This is really a breakthrough for Lamborghini, in which uh, is happening once uh, in a lifetime. The massive development might be a once-in-a-lifetime event, but the impact will last for years. This huge investment uh, in the factory has a big impact also on the territory. Because all the people we are hiring are living here, so all the money we spend on this uh, factory then stay in the territory. And this is really a big opportunity for the city of Sant'Agata, but for all the uh, Emilia-Romagna region, really to have a big boost in, uh, in their economy. For me, it was a great thing that they invested in Lamborghini, because these products are something that doesn't exist in the world. We have to preserve, uh, let me say, the tradition of working on Lamborghini, so we are doing uh, a mixed team. There are young people here who are very well prepared, uh, theoretically. They may lack a bit of experience. I need to teach them, but I have enough humility to also learn from them. You have the old guys, the new Ferruccio Lamborghini, and the young guy which uh, knows only, let's say, the, the car of today. One is giving the energy and the passion to the other, and the other is giving the experience. The Urus tests the passion and experience because the build is entirely different than any previous Lambo. This is the first time we are assembling a brand new type of car. For instance, for seats, uh, for doors, uh, we never deal with this. Uh, it's a front engine, V8. Uh, we always had uh, a back engine. Uh, we are learning uh, on, by doing, basically. Over the last 30 years, the brand exclusively builds two-door, two-seat, rear-engine sports cars. Now, they must relearn how to assemble a machine because the Urus is a four-door, four-seat, front-engine vehicle. We would like to be at the state of the art of manufacturing. So it means that we are using advanced technology. We are using the maximum competence and knowledge of the company. The manufacturing knowledge is modern, and the machine is absolutely cutting edge. Yet amazingly, the Urus isn't the brand's first SUV. 